Hey, what's up, guys? This is hopefully going to be a quick update video. This is my um, haul video for the month of January, and I got... I say this every time I do this, I feel like, but I always I get more than I think I got, and I always get way more than I thought. But uh, when I compiled everything for this video, it occurred to me that I'm, I'm, I buy way more shit than I realize, and that's... Excuse me, that's a problem. <laughs> I gotta start uh, trying to rein that stuff in. And it's funny, because I feel like I did used to buy more than this, but... Um, um, here we are, I guess. So hopefully I can slow down a little bit. And there's a couple things in here I think I'm, I'm planning on selling at some point. Just because um, I got them for cheap and I just wanted the digital copy. But uh, I'll get to those in a second. But to start this off, I, I've already made a couple of videos for some of this stuff. But the rest I didn't either get around to it or I just didn't. But uh, I'll mention them when I come through them. So first thing I got was uh, Joker from Warner Brothers for review and stuff. Um, I enjoyed this film. I saw this, I've seen it, well, shit, have I seen it three times now? I saw it once in theaters, I saw it once when I first got it, the, um, this copy of Warner Brothers, and then I got this a week later, and I watched this copy as well, even though it's exactly the same, but, um, so I watched it three times now, and I, I enjoy the film, I definitely enjoy it. My first initial impression was a little bit, uh, what would you call it? I was, I wasn't skeptical, exactly, I thought it was... Well, I don't want to get into it, I suppose, because it's a whole thing. But I, I enjoyed the film overall, especially after watching it multiple times after. I really do appreciate what Joaquin did and what they were trying to do with the, the film. I think there are some flaws in it, and I think that it's a bit overhyped, if I'm being honest. But I think Joaquin killed it. He's probably going to win the Oscar. Um, I'd be surprised if he didn't, actually. He's winning all the Best Actor awards in all the um, categories so far, so I'm assuming he'll win. But anyway... I got these in this month. That was, I think, the 7th of the month. Those are awesome. I got this also uh, in January, early on, and I did watch it, and it's fucking weird. Um, yeah, it's weird. It's got... Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird. Um, when I, after I finished watching it, I, was, I just kind of sat there while the credits were going, and I was just kind of thinking to myself, what the fuck did I just watch? It was like a fever dream. And uh, the only thing I knew for certain is that both Pattinson and Willem Dafoe did fantastic, and I would I just their performances alone I thought worth checking it out. The score was pretty good. The uh, the sound design, mixing, all that it was very eerie and kind of made you uncomfortable at times. It was, and I loved the dialogue. It was great. I just I recommend giving it a shot. It's fucking weird, as I've mentioned, but I recommend trying it if you can watch it somewhere, rent it. Uh, let's see, let's go to this one next. I got this, I think, early on in the month, too. I've been meaning to buy this since it came out in December, so I only waited about a month. But I got it for about 45 ish dollars, I think, from Amazon, something like that. I think I had a gift card for, like, 15 bucks, so I made it a little bit cheaper. But this is the Fly Collection from Screen Factory. It has all five of the Fly films. It's got Fly from 1950-something or other. Return of the Fly, Curse the Fly... Cronenberg's Fly and The Fly 2, which I've, I've seen, obviously, The Fly, The Murder already. I've actually, well, I've seen this one, I think, in passing. I don't recall these other two, and I've seen Fly 2 maybe once or twice. I remember thinking that was kind of weird. But uh, I was looking forward to getting this. The, uh, I think they're all new, trans new transfers, I think. And uh, there's special features on here, too. But um, I could go into this, I guess, but I think at this point you can, you know... What year was that? 1958. 58 for that one. 59, I assume. And 60 or 61. 65, actually, for uh, The Curse of the Fly. And then, of course, uh, 1986. Wait. Yeah, 86. That's what I thought it was. For Cornerbrook's The Fly, and then The Fly 2, My Father, My Son. Which is 1989. Oh, okay. There's a bit more special features on here. Yeah, very cool. Hard box. You know, I like the design of it. So I wanted it, so I got it. So less than 10 bucks per movie, and I figured, what the hell? Pretty cool. And then I just got this the other day, and it's Doctor Sleep on 4K from Warner Brothers. I got this from Warner Brothers for review, and I did watch it, and I watched the director's cut on Blu-ray, so I have not seen the theatrical cut. I heard, well, I heard mostly good things about it, but I heard it was kind of mixed on the theatrical, the director's cut I thought was pretty good. I liked it a lot. Um, I'm also someone who's not a huge, huge fan of The Shining film, Kubrick's The Shining. 
I know that uh, Stephen King doesn't like it, and he made his own version in the 90s, which I remember seeing and thinking was kind of weird, because my experiences with the Stephen King version, I mean the, the uh, Kubrick version, but this version of the film, the director's cut, I think is the one worth watching. It's actually like 30 minutes longer, or 25-ish minutes. Oh, it actually it says right here, doesn't it? I think it's about 30 minutes. Five, six, yeah, it's about 28 minutes longer. The uh, director's cut. And there's like chapters in it and stuff. I don't, again, I don't know what else is different about it, but I remember, I, I definitely like it. I liked it a lot. I want to watch it again here pretty soon, but um, I thought it was pretty good. I did, well, when I when the pre-order first came out for the CL book, I, I, I pre-ordered it. And then when they showed the new artwork for it, it was the, I did not like it at all, so I canceled it. And just kind of waited for this one. I, I might, if it gets it goes on sale or something, I might buy it, but I did not want to spend 35 bucks on that artwork. I didn't like it at all. It reminded me of the Mission Impossible one, uh, the new one, Fallout. It has the exact same design with it, and I just didn't care for it at all. It seemed really plain. So me personally, I think this, this artwork looks better than that. Dr. Sleep. I, I remember there was a concept with like a yellow arch, but they did never do that. I thought that would be kind of cool for Steelbook, but just this one right now so far. Um, I, I might get the Steelbook eventually if it's cheaper, but I didn't want to spend full price on it, so. There's Dr. Sleep. Very cool. Like that. Parasite I got um, a week or so ago, and I did watch this too, and I enjoyed this very much as well. Very cool uh, Korean film. Um, it's being talked up by, by a lot of people right now, so. And I think it, is it actually up for Best Picture? I wouldn't say on here, would it? But I'm, I'm almost positive it is. I have no idea if it'll win. I haven't seen the majority of those films that are listed, so I have no idea what's going to happen with that. But I think this has a good shot. It's very cool. I'm glad that it's getting recognition. And uh, I recommend it, giving it a shot. It's very good. I thought the acting was great. Again, the usual stuff. Some of was great. Sound design was good. Uh, it was it was eerie in places. It was actually pretty funny too, actually, actually, actually. But uh, recommend it. I thought it was good. And what else here? Oh, I got some. Did I? What was this here? Oh, I got some Criterion's here. But actually, this is a. I got this by mistake. I already I purchased this a long time ago. I just watched this um, a couple days ago, I think, and I I liked it a lot actually. It was a very atmospheric film. I'm not exactly sure. How to interpret it, but I, I enjoyed it. Watched it over about a, a couple of days, and it's three hours long, or something like that. I don't know, but uh, I enjoyed it definitely. But what I the brand new stuff I got is these three films. This one I'll get to in a second, but I got House of Games and Cold War. I've heard this is very good, and it just actually is it 2000? Yeah, it's a it's a recent release too. So I want to check this out. It's a Polish film, I think. Right? Yeah. And it's getting some praise. I don't know if this is up was up for any awards or anything, but I feel like I recognize the name, and it, I, feel, I, I don't remember, though. But I got that, and I got House of Games from 1987, starring Joe Mantegna, and I think it's got... Yeah, Ricky Jay is in it, too. Like a, a card shark kind of game or something like that. I don't, I'm not exactly sure, but it, I like the description here. It seemed intriguing to me, so I got it. The reason I got these and this third one here graduation it was targets buy one no buy two get one free and these were all less than 20 bucks so with shipping and tax and stuff i got all three of these for 50 bucks so that's cool the problem with this one is graduation i haven't opened this yet but uh, there's a huge huge gash in the side here so i'm gonna have to return that and see if i can get a replacement but i know target's really infamous for not being able to re replace shit so i'll have to find out it's loose in there anyway so this one I wanted to watch too. This is a uh, Romanian film, but I don't know. It sucks that it's damaged, but I'm gonna have to. I'm not gonna keep that case. It's, I, I, if it was just the case, I might have, but the artwork is ripped too. So obviously, I could go to Criterion.com and get that shit replaced, but I shouldn't have to pay for that. But um, cuts into my savings that I did by doing the thing. But anyway, and then I got this from Mill Creek. I got the Mindy Project, the complete series. Um, I haven't seen a second of this, um, so I don't know. I think it's, it's like six or seven seasons, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, five seasons. Wait, no, hold on. Six seasons, yep. The last season is just one disc. Ten episodes. Uh, but I think majority of them are two discs. Yeah, and color-coded, too. 
So that's cool. I've heard this is a good show. Like I said, I haven't seen it, so I don't know. I don't. I recognize some of the cast down there. Obviously, Mindy, I recognize, and other people. But uh, I'll have to check this out at some point. Uh, just kind of sneaking into other thing else. But um, like I said, I've heard good things, but I haven't got a chance to check it out yet. So I'll have to do that at some point. Um, let's see. These two I got from the Sony Safe Station at Best Buy. It was a buy one get one free. I got Escape Room and Men in Black International, which I got for free. I paid about 14 bucks for this, which is about okay for me. I was waiting for under 10, but you know, with the buy one get one, I figured what, I why not? You know, um, they both came with digitals, and I used them. But um, Men in Black International, I heard mostly bad things about it. I don't. I don't know. I, I'll watch it at some point. I don't even know if I've watched the third one. I might have. But I heard Escape Room was good. So I'll check that out at some point. But I got these. In fact, that's still going on right now if you want to check that out. Best Buy.com. Um, in their movie section, whatever. And in store, obviously. It's the buy one, get one on Sony Safe Station Films. And the problem is I own a lot of those already or I don't care about them. So um, These are pretty new. So I figured someone might want to get that. Anyway. Moving on. I got Perfect Blue. Did I even mention this in my Instagram or anything? I don't think I did. Did I? I don't know. This is a movie I've never seen. I've heard people talk about it. It's been referenced in other films. And I just... It was on sale for like 15 bucks, And I figured what the hell... And it actually came with a slipcover too. This is a Shout Factory release. It's actually a G-Kids and Shout Factory release. And I got it purely because I had never seen it. And it was on sale. That's it. I don't know nothing else about it other than I could say uh, it's a pop star who wants to be an actor. Oops, shit. But still. And it's like a thriller type thing. That's it. That's all I know about it. It's apparently really good. I've meant to see it for a while, but I just never got a chance to own it. And then I got Maleficent, Mistress of Eel, because I collect the Disney films. That's literally the only reason I got it for. I have um, the other Maleficent film that I had not seen. You know, I, I don't know. I got that too. This is a good one. I got Motherless Brooklyn from Warner Brothers Review a uh, week, two weeks ago, something like that. I watched this as well, and I thought this was pretty good, actually. I enjoyed this. It's like a little noir film. The The book it's based off of is not actually, take does not take place in the 50s. I think it takes place in more contemporary, like late 90s. Um... But then Edward Norton, I believe, bought the rights and then rewrote it to be more of a noir, and I thought that worked pretty well. It has Edward Norton's in it, uh, Edward, uh, excuse me, Bruce Willis is in it, Gugu Mbatha-Ra, Alec Baldwin, Anne Willem Dafoe. It's an all-star cast, and more people, too, that I recognize, character actors. But uh, I thought it was pretty good. Good a um, directorial, it's not a debut for Edward Norton, but he hasn't directed a movie in a while. And uh, I thought it was pretty good. I know that this movie did basically terrible in theaters. Like, I don't even know if it made his money back, so hopefully... That's why there's no 4K of this. It's just a Blu-ray, which is fine, obviously. But, um... There's actually some special features on here, too, that I thought that this making of documentary was not bad. It's about 10-ish minutes long, I think, but it was still interesting. Edward Norton is kind of an eccentric person, I think. But uh, he comes off as fine in this film. I thought he did a good job. It's good all around, I thought. I'd give it a shot if you want to rent it. Or buy it, I suppose, to support it, but whatever. This is Terror Train. I actually already owned this, the um, Screen Factory version. Somewhere. It's back there somewhere. After, maybe I just sold it. After I got this in the mail, from my, I got this from my friend Sam. Uh, we've been friends for years now, and he's been wanting to get me something for a year, for a long, long time, and he finally got me something. This is the Scorpion release. Is this Scorpion? Yeah, Scorpion release. Right? Yeah. Of Terror Train. This is actually pretty new, and it's a new transfer, I believe. Yeah, a brand new 2K scan, so i got to check this out. I do not remember the the Screen Factory version being in a transfer. I don't think it was. It looked fine, obviously, but this is supposed to be better, and it's got new features, too, I think. So, that's awesome. It comes with a little mini poster, too, but um, that's awesome. I'm, I thank you a lot. Thanks thanks a lot, Sam. I know we've been trying to talk about this for a while, and I'm glad you finally were able to send something. I didn't ask for anything, but uh, it's very cool that you sent me something as a surprise, but... Very neat. I like this cover art, too, actually. Got all the characters in there and the finger and stuff. Very cool. I was actually thinking about this film just like a month or so ago. I didn't get a chance to watch it during um, 
um, 31 Days of Horror and stuff, so maybe I can incorporate it for next year or sooner, actually. But uh, it's all aboard if you dare. So looking forward to checking that out. Thanks again, Sam. And then almost to the end here, but I got the Steven Spielberg Director's Collection just because it was on sale for like $23. And it's initially like 80 which is, you know, of course, crazy. But um, it has a couple movies I did not own. It has Duel, Sugarland Express, 1941, and Always. So these are films I did not own. Otherwise, I do own Jaws, Jurassic Park, and then Jurassic Park 2, and E.T. So I didn't really need it, but for $24 plus tax, I thought, what the fuck. It's kind of cool. It's got a booklet, and it's got the Blu-rays in there. You know how that shit goes, but... Uh, this has been on sale every like six months or so for around twenty five bucks, and I think it was actually someone mentioned it was twenty bucks at some point, which is a good deal. But um, I have I actually purchased this well over a year ago when it was on sale, and it was back ordered, but then I canceled it because I was like, ah, I don't need these films. So, but I finally actually got it, so that's cool. You know, Steven Spielberg films. But uh, I gotta check out. I want to watch Duel. It's his first film. It's apparently good. Well, it's apparently not that great, but it's apparently. Not bad, so I'll put this over here. And then finally, for the month, the biggest purchase of the month and for the fucking year is Game of Thrones the Complete Series, the Collector's Edition. Let me just lift this up and show you. The Limited Edition Blu-ray Collector's Set, which I already did an unboxing of. If you want to take a look at it, you can look at it on my channel. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. I did I did a whole unboxing of it going uh, frame by frame or uh, season by season and stuff. It's a huge set. It's really heavy and actually quite cumbersome. So I don't know how often I'll be pulling these discs out. I might um, when the um, regular set, the, the normal size set, goes on sale for 100 bucks or less. I might, well, 100 bucks is still probably too much. Maybe like 70 bucks. I might scoop it up because then I could sell the code for a couple maybe 20 bucks or so, and then I'll... 50 bucks sounds more of my style. but uh, And then I can get to the discs a lot easier. But um, I don't know what else to say about this other than that this set is huge. And that um, I'm probably not going to be opening it up very often. Because the design is very intricate, and I want to preserve it as best I can. I have no idea if it's actually limited. It says limited edition, but, you know, they just say that sometimes. So, I probably shouldn't have bought it. <laughs> but I did, so anyway. That's it, guys. I'm just going to cancel it here. I, I, could, I could put everything in front here, but I'm getting tired of doing this now. So, thank you for watching, guys. This has been fun to go through all this. Like I said, I did not realize it was this much crap. i got to stop buying so much crap. And I say that every month, but, you know. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you guys. At the, at the very least, if I don't do anything else, I'll see you at the end of next month, February, for more crap I buy. Oh, I think I actually have a Screen Factory unboxing coming up pretty soon. So maybe you'll see that I'm after this, right, you know, tomorrow or the next day. But thank you for watching, guys. Thanks for sticking around for 18 fucking minutes, me rambling about shit. So uh, hopefully in the future I'll have less shit to show you, and but I probably will still have less same amount of shit. So anyway, I'm rambling like crazy. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later again, like usual. <laughs> okay, bye.